this is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com. So you want to do Facebook Live, but you can't seem to push that button, right? A lot of time you get you building up all this anxiety. And then sometimes you did the Facebook Live, but you just can't seem to post that Facebook Live to public. How do you overcome that? I have four little tips to just to help you just that. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Candace. So I'm going to share with you four little tips that can help you improve your Facebook life um, if you're new to Facebook life. So let's get right into it. When you are new to Facebook life, this is the number one thing that you should never do, right? You should never wait for your audience. Have you ever seen a Facebook live where someone who's doing the Facebook live and they said, let me wait, let's get, let's give it a second so that Facebook could gather the, the, the audience. Have you ever feel like that when you're watching the replay, you feel like, all right, you know, it's been over a minute now, when are you going to start talking? And then you drop off, right? Here's the reason. Facebook live, the goal of Facebook live is in the replay. So please do not wait for your audience. When you get on Facebook Live, you have about eh, three to five seconds to capture your audience um, attention. <clears throat> so if you are not diving right into valuable content, you will lose your audience, right? So dive into the content right away. Do not wait for Facebook to build your audience. A lot of people just waited and waited and then they lost the audience that was already on it, right? Because a lot of people nowadays, they don't actually watch the Facebook live while it's live. They actually watch the replay. So the sooner you can dive into the valuable content, the more audience you could capture, all right? Number two tips is you should never ever watch your Facebook live right after you did it. I know it's so tempting because you feel like I should take a look at it to see if I'm doing okay. But here's the problem. When you're watching the Facebook Live right after you did it, before you publish to the public, you are actually um, overlooking the content that you're putting out there. To be honest with yourself, a lot of time we are our toughest credit. And when we are looking at the video, a lot of time, we're not even listening to the content that we are giving it out. What we're doing it was, is we are looking at, oh my God, my hair is not perfect. I sound funny. Why should I say that? Oh, my lipstick is not right. So you keep finding those imperfections to actually not post this video. You are not even listening to the content that you put it out there. When you're watching your own Facebook Live, you have a totally per different perspective than your audience. When your audience watching your Facebook Live, they are listening to the content, the valuable content that you put it out there. So do not go back to watch the replay of your Facebook Live right after you uh, right after you did it. You should just go ahead and post it and just leave it alone and let your audience get the valuable content. And this is. This is from my true personal experience. I start doing that and I start seeing the feedback that people giving. People start listening to my uh, my Facebook Live, watching my Facebook Live. They put comment in there. There's so, there were so many co positive comments that builds up my confidence and to the point that I know I'm getting better. And then I start watching my Facebook Live uh, replay for um, editing purposes. All right. Now, number three, to help you get better at doing Facebook Live, if you're new to Facebook Live, is to never apologize for being new. A lot of time I see a lot of um, new Facebook Live producer or creator, I would say. When we get on the Facebook Live, we keep telling, we keep apologizing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm new to this. I, I'm, I'm not good at this. Um, Excuse me if I made a mistake. I'm new at this. When you keep uh, keep apologizing, yes, it's just some, you know, some people would say, okay, we forgive her because she's new. But there are other people thinking, well, why should I listen to her if she's new? Be confident, right? Be confident and show people that, yes, I am new to this, but I have content that I could deliver. So just be confident. Get on there and say, you know, even though I'm new in this, but I have something valuable 
forgive me if I say some, you know, if I, I did not, um, I did not say the right thing right away, but I will get it. Just say it once. And in fact, don't even say it. Just go out there and tell people that, you know, I, I learned this new skill today and I want to share with you. Stop apologizing for being new. Being new does not mean you don't know anything. Being new just because you, this is your first time doing it. So stop apologizing. Number four tips that I could give, I could give you today um, when you're new to Facebook Live is that be yourself, right? Be yourself and be comfortable with yourself. See, Here's the thing, a lot of people watching, a lot of top leader, a lot of the leaders in, in the industry that are doing Facebook Live, that they sound so perfect. They, uh, they, 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 so, um, they speak so fluently and everything. There's no, uh, they, they're not stumbling over the words and everything. Be okay with being yourself. You are new to Facebook Live. You are, you are about to repeat something that you already said. That is fine. Be yourself. Be comfortable. I, like, personally, like me, I understand that I have accent, right? Not everybody could get me right away. I have accent. Sometimes I don't pronounce words that people, the way that people pronounce because of the accent. But I'm okay with it. I play along with it. If I say something wrong, uh, if I say something wrong, like just now, if I say something wrong, guess what? I play it off. I say, oh, I made a mistake. Because when you're doing that, be comfortable with yourself and Put it out there to let people know that I'm okay being comfortable with myself. I know I make mistakes because it is live video. We will make mistakes. That's just how it is. So be yourself. So with those four tips, I hope it helped you to get started with Facebook Live. Facebook Live is such a great tool and it's a great marketing strategy now. If you're not doing Facebook Live right now, you should definitely start doing it. If you have any question about doing Facebook Live, be sure to drop in a comment and I will get to you as soon as possible. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and get more valuable content and tips and tricks on how to build your business on social media.